first of all, I just want to say that I haven't posted a video in a week because just out of respect of everything that's going on in the world right now, it's actually so sad to be honest and I just mm. didn't feel like I needed to post a video because that is not important at all. It actually breaks my heart so much seeing all of this, what's going on in America and everything. We're literally in 2020 right now and this is still going mm. on. I hope everyone is safe and please just everyone be nice to each other. Mm. Like there's an old point of being rude or judging others or actually being racist to say, as well. Like, don't say anything at all. Exactly, don't say anything at all. And I'm just gonna leave it at this. Respect each other because everyone is the same and just be positive during this time because I know it's very tough on everyone who was affected by this but I just hope everyone is okay. Hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I am joined with my best friend Laura Hey. and we are going to answer questions and we went to McDonald's and we got loads of food because McDonald's recently just opened so we said why not it was such mm -hmm. a long queue though oh my god but it's worth it 100% 100% worth it but you can barely get anything they're like, like, so, like it's so bad you have to it's like a restricted menu or whatever which is so and annoying. we did stay within the budget because so. i never get a chicken burger because i'm a rap person and i had to get a chicken burger kind of annoyed we got 20 chicken nuggets um and then laura got her a nasty plain burger, yeah. plain burger. but i'm like <laughs> obsessed with mcdonald's I cried most nights when it was closed for lockdown it was it was, guys this is actually a trick i learned with my mom. See, that's just something nasty. Like, he spreads the ketchup. She spreads it with the chip on the chip. Because you don't have a knife. To start with the questions. Okay. Gonna get oh. to know us a bit. Um, our and friendship. our friendship. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, go. So, the first question is, when was your first kiss? So, <laughs> mine was, okay, actually, back in the day, I was quite the athlete, if I, I may say so myself. And I was in... Athlones, I was in Athlones. The bird. At like All Islands, I think you call it. Well, they have like these discos. Stay there for two nights. There's these discos each night, and you stay there. You get a bit of party on, and you know, like I was ten or whatever, nine or ten. And there's these guys, and you know, all your friends are like, just do it. And yeah. you're like, no, I don't want to do it. And like, I was like literally crying. No, so peer pressured to actually get off with someone. Like, my first kiss was in, <laughs> in sixth class at the back of a line. Um, oh, Jesus, the teachers were there and everything. Mm -hmm. But my first, like, time getting off with someone, it's actually my boyfriend now. It was in the regatta. Um, in I was in first year, I'd say. And you know back then when all the friends would be there. You know, that type of thing. Like, it was honestly a joke. And it was so weird how I was with him as well because now here we are. Next question. Is your celebrity crush? Mm. I would say Quentin. Is he a celebrity though? Yeah, no, he is, though. he's not. Quentin Griggs. Okay, if it's not him. Like, okay, yeah, everyone is obsessed with him to be fair, but he's not a celebrity. I wouldn't count him as a celebrity, I don't think. Would you know? Because he's not like a singer or an actor. If you have over a million followers, you're famous. Yeah, but is he a celebrity? It's different. Famous and celebrity, I think, is different. Yeah, because he wouldn't be going to the Met Gala or any of that. Okay, well, who's there? Am I, I right? Know. Oh my god, I actually don't know. I was obsessed with Dylan O'Brien. Um, when I was younger. I'm literally looking through my followers. Like, who is my celebrity crush? Sort of celebrities there. Okay, my celebrity crush would probably be Zac Efron. That is true. He oh. was um, back then, High School Musical days. Oh, or David Beckham. Oh my god. Oh, no, oh my god. Or David Beckham. Romeo Beckham? Yeah. Yes. Romeo. But he's already famous. If you're not letting me say Quentin, then Romeo's not in the picture either. <laughs> well, you can say Quentin, but he's just. I don't count him as a celebrity. Like, he's famous, but he's not a celebrity. I might be completely wrong on this. I'm eating this burger now. Haven't had a burger in years. Okay. Favorite place to go on holidays? Mm, Florida. Oh. I do love America. I do. We go to Florida. My granddad actually lives in Florida, so we go there a good bit. I'm just not the biggest fan of shopping. And my family go there to the shop every single day. Oh my God, shopping in America, especially Florida, that would probably be one of my favorite places. No, I love, I like shopping. To go. But what the, like the outlets and everything, it's unreal. I just don't like doing it 24-7 with my family. Okay, no, I don't do it 24-7 when I'm like on holidays, but, but I, 
No, I do. Oh Where did God. we go last year? We would have been going on holidays this time last year tomorrow. And it's actually so depressing because Termalinos? obviously- Termalinos? We went to Termalinos. It was actually really, really good. It was such nice weather. Okay, I'm actually, I'm such a big baby. I love like family hotels. Like where she can get involved in the kid games type thing. Kids I'm like, clubs, like water slides, Zumba no, in the water. You need it. Water slides are completely different. It's like a water park. I have such a funny story. Remember when I wanted to get the Ariana Grande ponytail? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wanted, I was like Anyways. inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana Grande last year. We were flying home that day and then going out that evening. So I was like, oh my God, might as well have opportunities here. I will get the people on the street to do my hair. The women that like do the braids and everything. Yeah, all of them. They're so good. But um, anyway, so like I would have, I wanted to get like a blonde extension, like a long ponytail because I had like a vision what I was going to wear, everything like that. This is what okay, I'm talking like, about. Length ponytail. <laughs> That's what she wanted. That's and me wanted. thinking I that I will get that exact same texture here and everything in Mallorca. What? Like, what? No, was it New York Termininos? No, like the type of hair you get on a Barbie doll or a Bratz doll. That is the type of hair that the woman put on her head. I mean, it was frizz. <laughs> and it was literally crimped. You know when you crimp it like the zigzag? It was so bad. Didn't even like match my hair, nothing. No. And then she's like, sorry, we can't do this, all that. Took it out halfway. I was like, what is going on? So then I just got two braids mm -hmm. here. Um, and then I just tied it up in a ponytail when I went home, but I remember that that was actually and I so just got funny. the basic <laughs> We were there for like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And then she just took it all My, out. But it's like, a funny experience. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that was so funny. I was absolutely sweating. And then everyone was walking past us, like admiring the ponytail when it was actually like a frizz. What is our favorite clothes shop or place to buy clothes? Like, I think actual shop like to go to, like I love Forever 21. Mm. I was in Dublin, then I got closed down. I went to it, wasn't that good. Now. In Ireland, Bershka, we don't really have anything. First, no, we have nothing where we live, but like if we go Dublin or something like a city, then we have shops, but where we live literally has mm -hmm. no shops. All for kind of old people, not gonna lie. A lifestyle in every style, you're gonna know. And you mostly we oh. have like boutiques. We have a TV. Yeah. That's as exciting as it gets. <laughs> no hate to deviate, but... Yeah, yeah, but like it's so expensive as well, so I can't afford that. But if I was saying, I'd say Bershka, Topshop. Miss Selfridge is actually yeah, good. In America, Paxson. Oh, oh Paxson. Randy Melville. Yeah, but it's so expensive. Mm. Still online. I would say... I want to say Pretty Little Thing. I love, love Pretty mm -hmm. Little Thing because I get all my clothes off, but everything's sold out at the moment. I'm so bad. And they up their delivery. The delivery costs more than what I actually want to buy. Like, Does it? Say if I wanted to buy a top that was like five euro, <clears throat> then I'm paying like eight euro for delivery. How? Because that's what it is. It's eight euro for delivery. Why would you be just buying one top that's six euro? You know what I'm saying if you're wrong. Misguided though in a way as well. Bear in mind I bought this top in Duns. <laughs> Do we believe in karma? A hundred percent. One thousand percent. Karma is a bitch. It really is and I've seen it happen to people. I think karma is so real because it might not happen like straight away but it will happen once in their life if someone mm -hmm. has done something bad to you or something. But sometimes it actually doesn't happen. It comes back to bite you in the ass. It's true though, but like sometimes it doesn't happen and it's so unfair, but that's just mm -hmm. the way life is. But like, I definitely do believe in karma 100% because if someone does something nasty to you, it's just gonna come right back at you. Everything happens for a reason. I am such oh, a firm my. believer. Yes, Laura. Mm -hmm. Everything happens for a reason, 100%. Mm -hmm. But you might not think um, it at the time, but it does, oh, no, it's yeah. so true. What's that called that I always say that I like? <laughs> God takes people out of your life because he heard conversations that you didn't. Boom. There's like an inspirational video right now or something like that. If you won the lotto, what would be the first thing you would do? Maldives. No. Maldives is good, but it gets boring. <laughs> it gets boring after a few days. What would I do? I'd go 100% on a big shopping spree. I would buy a McDonald's. Laura would buy a McDonald's. I wouldn't even be surprised. It's so hard to talk and eat at the yeah. same time. Move to LA. 
we're moving together. That's our dream, guys. We're going to move to LA together. And I'm but, opening up a cheerleading gym. Yeah, Laura wants to open up a cheerleading mm -hmm. gym. I want to just do fashion and stuff so we can get an apartment, something like she that. She can design my cheerleader outfit. Yes. Oh my God. For my place. 100%. I think I would, actually, I would move to LA, 100%. But I would buy loads of clothes first. Then I would give money to my parents. And me. And Nora. It depends how much we're winning here. How much are we winning? <laughs> how much do we win on that one? We're gonna say four million. I feel like, yeah. Someone like won 300 million or something as well. Where? I feel Don't like that's a thing. We're Crash getting it. really off topic. <laughs> we are probably the worst two people <laughs> to actually do a video together. Your chips are gone. Mm. Why are you taking mine? Because <laughs> mine Mm. I'm getting a lock jaw when I eat or something. <laughs> We're so off topic, Laura. <laughs> and the other thing where we say, pick a fruit. <laughs> Three, two, one. Apple. Apple. <laughs> pick a shape. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Circle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is our favourite app. <laughs> TikTok. I thought you said TikTok. <laughs> I would 100% say TikTok. Definitely. Snapchat so dead. Like TikTok. I just can't be bothered with that. Instagram. Mm, no, I do like Instagram now. To be fair, Visco love it, but TikTok would be literally my favorite because I go on it all the time mm -hmm. when I'm so bored. I have nothing else to do with my life, um, especially during these times as well. If you could have dinner with three celebrities, who would you invite? Hmm. Quentin Grace. Is he a celebrity, Laura? It doesn't matter. He's out there. Like, I want him to have dinner I would with me. say Bella Hadid, because she is literally my fashion icon. Travis Scott, Bella Hadid, and... We would Bella definitely Hadid. invite Abby Lee Miller. Oh, my God. Like, she would just be so entertaining. Dance Moms, I get all the goss. Like, oh, my God, she would be hilarious. I recently found every episode of Dance Moms on a website called Soap Today. So, if mm. you want to watch Dance Moms, go watch on there. Who would it be? So, I have Bella Hadid, Travis Scott. I want someone funny. Kevin Hart. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Yes, so Bella Hadid, Travis Scott, Kevin Hart would actually be the funniest thing ever. Oh, oh my god, he'd be No the oh Rock. My god, James, the Rock. James Gordon. James Gordon. Mm. Oh my god, all of them. That would actually be the funniest James thing. James Gordon. Ever. Abby Lee Miller and Quinton. <laughs> That'd be such a weird dinner no, talk. So I would like stare at Quinton. <laughs> Abby will speak what's on her mind. James is just hilarious. If you could only eat one thing and drink one thing. For the rest of your life, what would it be? See, now I've thought about this one and I just can't. <laughs> I would eat pasta. Like, there's just so many different shapes, colours. I don't know. You just can feel like you're eating different things because of different shapes. And different sauces. No, different. one food. Just pasta. Just plain. Plain? Mm. That is actually disgusting. But maybe you could have sauce, but like it's one food, so. Pasta. Yeah, but sauce isn't a food. Is this? Is sauce a food, guys? What is sauce? Wait, what would I have? I'd say I would have enchiladas. Do you love um, pizza? I would have enchiladas or pizza, I'd say, because you can get different pizzas, like you can get different toppings. I would drink lemon iced tea. Water. <coughs> I would get sick of lemon iced tea. I love it though, but no, I think water. What is your favorite takeaway and what do you get? McDonald's. Okay. My favorite takeaway would be either Chinese and I get a four moment crispy chicken or a sweet and sour chicken. If I was going to Lan, I'd get a spice box with a large tub of sweet and sour sauce. I always do this, but I never finish it. It's a rip off. I know, but I just, tasty. yeah, but like the small ones are too small and I love sauce. If people know me, <coughs> I literally drench all my food in like sauce. Like, <clears throat> there has to be a sauce. I can't have a plain at all because it's just disgusting to me. So I, I think I use too much sauce to be honest. You know, like as much as I love McDonald's, it wouldn't really fill me up that much. McDonald's doesn't fill you up though properly. Pizza probably. I get pizza all mm. the time. What toppings would you get on your pizza? Have pineapple. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. It does. 
Pineapple goes on pizza and I, I actually don't get why people think it doesn't. <clears throat> like every time I'm with people, the same people as well that I order pizza, that every time they're like, how do you do that? How do you get pineapple on and ham on pizza? It's honestly so good. That is my go-to pizza, ham and pineapple, mm. always. I love chicken and sweet corn. Oh my God, I'm real. We like, when we're ordering food, we're so different. Oh my God, it's so different. Like, we literally will fight. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm ordering food. She is so plain and I'm full of flavour. Do you know what I mean? I'm, and I don't know. We're so different to what we eat. Like completely different. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not the biggest fan of spicy food either. Like. Like a mild food. Like mild you would spice? be that person that would just order tomato sauce and pasta in a restaurant. Or even just butter and pasta. Like why? You're just wasting oh, your money. You can not carbonara though. Mm. I know true actually. Actually, I have a question. What is your weirdest food combination? Mine literally is right here. Ice cream and chips. So good. McDonald's mm. chips only though and McDonald's no, ice cream. No, do you know cream. what's actually kind of good? My friend's brother showed this to me. Like the crust off your toast dipped in orange juice. Ew. You would never do that. I don't know. Not all the time. I don't really ha always have it, but like I would have it if I had to. Or like... I wouldn't make toast just to do it. If I'm getting like a McFlurry and if I have chips, I always dip it in. It's so good. If you could change your name, what would it be? I love the name Heidi. Heidi, yeah. So, <laughs> rose? Do I look like a rose? <laughs> Lily? That used to be my favourite name when I was younger. Oh, whenever I used Emily. to play... No, yeah. whenever we used to play... Um, like games and you had to pick your like fake name mine would always be lily from hannah montana i don't know what i would probably change mine to no like there's just you know there's so many common names yeah i don't want a common name <clears throat> heidi <laughs> heidi it's gonna be my daughter's name but it's harper <gasps> help yourself Girl, with my them. chips mine are gone you eating the chicken yeah jesus where did they go <laughs> a bit of a random one. Favourite ice cream flavour? This can get controversial. Mint ice. Yes! Ice Since when do you like mint? Always! Mint ice cream is so oh, good. It's so good. Or chocolate. I, I actually really like chocolate. Mm, no. I, I'm a chocoholic but mm. chocolate ice cream not really my thing. I like the mm -hmm. bueno sauce from Oglana's thing. So good. Do we have any hidden talents? I can put my legs behind my back. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she can put her feet back here i can put my legs behind my head really don't know how and i can't even do the slits really it's actually really funny it is funny i would show you but it's just a bit weird the worm <coughs> yeah throw back to second year. we have this thing called mission week and you have to do like a dance with your class and it only goes up to first to third year who does like a show or whatever and laura did a worm across the stage it was actually hilarious i wish someone everyone was just standing there. Still, and I decided to do the worm dance stage. And she was going at it. Is that, is that a hidden talent though? Next question. Three words to describe yourself. Will we say it for each other? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would say... Not bossy, but attitude. 100%. <laughs> you have a really strong personality, but that would be the same as... So I'd just I'm say, just straight up. Attitude, loyal, and funny. Oh, I know. You make me laugh, Laura. I know, I make myself laugh too. I make myself laugh too. Okay, Amy. Dyslexic. <laughs> Laura! <laughs> Not messing. Pretty, stunning. No. That's one word. Thank you. Um, hilarious. Very we don't say anything funny to each other. We look no. at each other. She laughs Please, and I laugh. I laugh. Like starting this video was actually we talk about ten minutes because we we're just both laughing at each other. If I just stare at her for a certain amount of time, I'm just gonna yeah. start laughing. Same. Ditzy. What does that mean? Like forgetful? Like Yeah, no, I do forget. I'm not forgetful, but like Like dit I know I kinda think I know. She just doesn't really know what's going on all the time. Like she's kind of just Around. I'm kind of in my own world yeah. sometimes, I think. And I just don't really know what's happening. What superpower do you wish you had? Invisibility. Yeah. What really people say to, about me when I walk out the room. Or do they actually start bitching behind you? 
Morning or night person? Night. Well, no, I'm actually a mixture. Like I get up at 11 and I stay up to like, I couldn't do like an all nighter by myself. I just find that so boring. Honestly. No, I'm definitely a night person. Don't talk to me for at least two hours when I wake up. Yeah, don't talk to her. In Spain, for example. Like I wanted to do loads of things and Laura was just being a lazy. Do I look pretty right now? Yeah, you do. Good. I like the side part. Yeah, keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> what did you first think of when I told you that I was starting a YouTube video? Oh. A YouTube channel. I was so excited. Like the only part that I'd be a bit like holding back would be if people are going to be hateful towards you because not that you're just so sensitive, but you I take am, a lot of things to heart. I am very sensitive, like, she, guys, so please don't say anything mean. I'll be there. I'm always there. Yeah, and there. she'll be right beside me. But the thing that I actually well, I love the so most, so excited, so supporting. Like I Honestly. love YouTube. I watch so like it's all I do. Like I will not watch Netflix anymore. Ne never watch Disney Plus anymore. I'm all about YouTube. Yeah, no, but like I all love. my friends were so supporting, like everyone. But mm -hmm. it was just so nice because Laura's like, Amy, do it. You love YouTube, so you might as well. I was like, yeah, that's so true. And she was literally forcing me to post it. Like I did. And I'm so happy I did. Now look where, now look where we are. Doing my favourite thing. Eating. Eating. It's going to be the last question now because we actually don't know how many questions we've done. And this video has taken a long time to do. So the last question is where do you see yourself in 10 years? LA. I hope to God. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. We'll be, I'll be nearly 28. So I hope to God I'm with someone that I want to marry. I really do hope that. Maybe I've gotten married by then. I want to have traveled. Um, I also want to have been to like Australia. And I want to live in Florida, like when I'm older, like settle down, do you know what I mean? And maybe, do you think maybe have a child? That's so would. weird to think. Oh my God, it actually freaks me out so much. No, We're gonna be, to be 20 married anyways, anyways, at least. And to be living in LA. It's possibly my cheerleading gym. Like, yeah, to be successful, to be with someone that you know you're gonna marry. Be healthy. To be healthy. Thousand percent. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. And to live in like Florida or, or LA Just or something warm, like that. Just please. Yeah, because I don't want to live in Ireland when I'm mm -hmm. older. To be fair. No way. No, not my type of thing. But I want to have like done everything. Like I want to have traveled a lot of places as well. But I just love, like, I'd love to, like, flash forward to 10 yeah. years to see where I am. 100%. And, like, am I friends? We will be friends. Will we? If anything juicy happens. I hope we're friends, Laura. Don't make that face. <laughs> I'm saying. But, like, still, I don't know, like, will you be friends with half your friends no, now? I know, that's actually really weird thing, but... Will you even 20? talk? That's actually yeah. crazy. That's so crazy. Okay, so, guys, that is the end of the video, and we have answered questions that people wanted to know, and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did, which took ages to great film. We did have a great time. It was Taking funny. Hours. <laughs> so long! But if you um enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.